Okay, so what's going on guys? This is Manuel Gearbox and we're back with DCS World. We're currently in Nellis Air Force Base on board the Harrier, the AV-8B uh, Harrier. And today I've, I've been practicing around with this aircraft. I've been doing a lot of conventional takeoffs and landings and, and bombing runs and whatnot. I'm still learning the aircraft. You know, I just bought it like maybe, I don't know, maybe five days ago. But uh, I haven't really got down to doing a, a vertical takeoff or landing, so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to try to do a vertical takeoff, see if I don't kill myself, and then I'm going to try to not land the aircraft because we only have like a uh, like 3,000 pounds of worth of fuel there, so it's not really enough to do a, a vertical takeoff and landing. But uh, yeah, I just want to learn uh, you know the basics. Of what it takes to harbor this aircraft, and I'm going to using I'm going to be using the uh, the manual here. I've got that on my iPad, so let me just br bring that up. Okay, so according to the manual, this is how you're supposed to be going. Okay, so we should set the uh, stop, the STO stop fully aft. Okay, so that's all the way to the back. Okay, nozzle position. We need to set that at 82 degrees. Oh, hold on a second. Got to do this first right here and get the numbers. Okay, let's bring that to 82 degrees. Got that map of my joystick. Okay, there we are. Okay, flaps, flap level STOL. Okay, there brings it down to 61 degrees. Uh, the flaps all the way down. What else? Uh, set HTO water injection switch to take off. Okay, we got that. Uh, set elevator trim to take off trim two degrees nose down. That that will be this one here. I already tried doing that, but the aircraft. Okay, we're gonna do it anyhow. Just per the manual. Every time you take off the, the nose of the aircraft just you know dips. So I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna go against the manual here. I'm gonna set it down to Okay there. Uh to neutral. Okay, check the anti skid switch is on. I've set it to nose wheel steering because we need to turn into that direction. As you can see here, the side slip uh, vane is pointing in that direction. We've got to point the aircraft in the direction the wind is coming from. In that case, that way. It's coming from that way. Okay, so hold the brakes, throttle up gradually until liftoff. Okay, uh, during liftoff, ensuring wings remain level and center and side slip vane to take off. That's what I was just talking about. It has to be pointing into the air. And then, uh, when the ground is clear, 20 to 25 feet, gradually reduce the power. In fact, uh, now that you mention it, I'm going to put the, uh, the barometer to radar. I mean the, the altimeter. It's this one right here. Set flaps to auto, and okay, that's when we, you know, when we once we want to transition into normal flight. Okay, so okay, technically we're ready to roll. So just hope that everything comes out okay. Okay, so let's throttle up. I see what's wrong. Hold on. Didn't want to go because the nozzles are pointing directly down. So that explains it. Let's give it a 10 here. Oh, there we go. Break, break, break. Don't want to end up in a freaking accident here. Okay, well, I've got to turn this a little bit to the left. Okay, there we are. Okay, so now we're going to set the uh, flaps all the way to 82 degrees. There we are. Okay, so here we go. And we're up. And we're going down. Come on, come on. I want to keep that in a hover, trying to see if we can gain control of it. Just 
raise the nose slightly over here. Now we're starting to rock left and right. No, want to keep it level. No, we don't want to come down. Want to slow down. Just want to keep it in hover. And uh, because we're so light, uh, the engine is not requiring any water injection. So we're not using. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, we're technically hovering. Now we're going backwards. Let's raise the gear. Uh, we don't want to go down. I'm going to keep doing this for a while, just fuel permitting. Just to get the hang of it. Now we're going forwards and upwards. We want to keep hovering. We don't want to gain any altitude or gain any uh, momentum. Raise the nose up a little bit. That hat switch. I mean the uh, uh, the witch hat it needs to be kept just above the horizon there, just to keep the nose from uh, pointing downwards and obviously getting more momentum forward. Okay, feel we're still okay. We're currently at 99.8% throttle. Or 100, it says in the HUD 100. Uh, bring it up a little bit, use the, uh, the trim. Now we're going down. harder than it looks. Easy, easy boy, easy. I'm gonna gain a little bit more altitude and we want to drop some speed. Are we going backwards or I, mean, I can't even tell if I'm going backwards or forwards. Now we're way too high, the nose is way too high. Yeah, this requires quite a lot of inputs on the steering, I mean on the, uh, on the control column. And we're gonna bring this down a bit. Currently at 400, I mean 440 feet. Landing but, gear. Landing gear. Now I'm not going to put the landing gear down. Landing I'm ignore gear. that. Landing gear. Uh oh, we're going down. Throttle. Landing gear. Landing gear. Minute inputs to the controls, throttle and the, uh, the control column. We're still going forward. I want to I'm just want to keep the aircraft vital, you know, in the uh, in the air, not move it anywhere. See how long I can keep it like that. Fuel, we're still okay. Yeah, we're gonna keep the nose up for a small amount of time there. Try to slow down. Let's keep going down, obviously. And uh, slightly off the throttle, trying to bring the uh, the variometer there to zero. We're still facing the wind. We're still, uh, yeah, we're still hovering. I mean, we're still uh, moving forward slightly. Right? Oh, I know why. There we go. Bring it down to 82 degrees and nozzles again. And, oh, 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 easy, easy. Easy, boy. Yeah, this looks a lot harder. I mean, my respect to all those guys who do this for real. Landing gear, landing gear. Oh, we're, still, we're going down slightly. Bring that up. But there, around there. Okay, so technically we should be hovering. Uh oh, uh oh, easy, easy. We're going backwards. Yeah, that's how hovering is. The newbie on the controls. Okay, so we still have uh, around 2,200 pounds worth of fuel. Oh, don't, don't go crazy. Just bring the nose down just slightly. Oh, man. 
Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, this requires an insane amount of practice just to get it right. And I can't see myself landing on the USS Terrawa anytime soon. Not with this the skills that I currently have. We're going high. Let's bring that down slightly. And bring the nose up. Okay, so let's transition into a conventional flight. Let's uh, move the nostrils forward. 60. We're starting to pick up some speed. Let's just make sure we don't crash into those mountains there. We're down to 45, give or take. Yeah, we're definitely gaining speed and altitude. Bring it down to 25. Okay, currently, okay so now we can just bring down the, uh, the auto zero and we're good we are good Let's bring this uh, the water thing turn it off okay so let's not get too crazy on the speed here the airspeed let's keep it around 420 still gotta land this baby so yeah, that's uh, that's a vertical takeoff with a Harrier. Not bad, huh? I mean, for being one of the first times, this is actually the second time that I've done this. I did a practice run before making the video, and uh, it, it 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 went pretty well. I mean, it didn't crash or anything. But yeah, I mean, obviously it requires an insane amount of practice all over the place. I was going backwards, I was going forwards, uh, the wings just kept rocking left and right. Not bad. Beautiful aircraft, the Harrier. I mean, I, I, I've never been a big fan of buying everything, you know, the whole content, like the vegan and all that kind of stuff. I'm not really interested in all that. But uh, the MiG-21 was a given. I mean, when I heard the MiG-21 was coming out, I actually pre-ordered it because uh, it's one of my favorite aircraft of all time. And then, obviously, after flying with it for a while, I decided maybe it should be time to uh, to purchase something a little bit more modern, you know, to engage in air-to-air -air combat multiplayer. So I purchased the uh, the Mirage 2000. Where's the airfield? That way somewhere. It's nine nine nautical miles out. Oh, I see it. I see it. Okay, so let's keep turning right. And as I was saying, I purchased the uh, the Mirage 2000, but I wasn't really happy with it, you know, because I felt like it needs polishing. Like it's it's got a lot of potential, but several things need to be polished. And then, out of curiosity, it was a uh, uh, like Steam had a sale on everything from DCS World, and everything was like 50% off. So I decided, you know, I'm going to purchase the Harrier. It's one of my favorite aircraft. I mean, who doesn't like the Harrier? The fact that it actually takes off and lands vertically. There it is. And uh, I bought the aircraft, and my God, I mean, I'm not disappointed at all. And even though this is like the early beta, you know, still need some stuff, like several systems here that haven't been implemented yet. But still, I mean, it's quite a little aircraft. Okay, so there's the airfield. Want to turn in? One thing I need to check is the all-weather landing system. For some reason, I'm not getting any readings on the uh, any glide slope readings or any vert. Has that localizer? Oh, I'm overshooting the uh, the runway here, so I need to start a bit of a break here to try to. Uh, Bring down speed, air brakes deployed, and we're gonna go for a conventional landing. Nothing out of the ordinary. <clears throat> ok, 
Okay, so let's just double check. We're in auto. We got nose wheel steering, which I should turn that off. Okay, let's we gotta bring this down to 180 knots so we can deploy the uh, the landing gear. And as you can see, the uh, the meatball, which has turned itself into a Tie Fighter from Star Wars. I'm not getting any uh, information from the localizer or the glide slope for some reason. I mean, I mean I've seen other YouTube videos. There's this channel called Red Kite. Probably heard of it. Let's see, just to make sure it's on. Channel 13 is selected, but nope. Okay, let's uh, throttle down here. Gotta wait and oh, fuel. Now we still got plenty of fuel. 180 degrees. I mean 180 knots and we deployed the, the landing gear. There we are. Landing gear. Landing gear. Okay, we're a little bit too steep. Let's bring that down. The meatball. I wouldn't say perfectly aligned, but we're close. Very, very close. Bring the nozzles down to 10. Get a bit of uh, ex extra lift. Got to concentrate here. Okay, we got to have a around 10 or 11 min, uh, angle of attack. We're currently in 9.4. Got a little bit of throttle here. Keep that meatball, the threshold of the runway. Run, boy. Speed up a little bit. And the gear's deployed. Everything's good. Is that an aircraft? Oh my god, there's an aircraft right there on the... Th Boy, it's a Harrier. I'm still gonna land. I'm not gonna stop. I'm gonna do a Harrison Ford on him. Don't take off, buddy. Stay put. That was sweet. Okay, so let's see here. Not bad. Not bad at all. That was cool. Yeah, so welcome to Nellis Air Force Base. We just left, but we're back. So yeah, that was uh, that was interesting. Obviously, a lot of stuff to learn about this aircraft. Uh, as if landing and taking off wasn't difficult enough, you still got to do the uh, the vertical stuff. Obviously, if you're going to be doing uh, operations from the USS Tarawa, you definitely need to learn this stuff: the short takeoffs and the vertical takeoffs. Here in Ellis Air Force Base, because of these long runways, you don't need none of that, but... Uh, yeah, it is what it is. The cool thing about this aircraft, even though it's very complicated, you really need to dig in the, uh, dig into the, uh, the, uh, the, the manual. Uh, is that, uh, you don't get bored. It's like everything you learn is like, you know, you're, you always learn something new, and it keeps you motivated. 
yeah definitely one of my favorite aircraft and and like I said in an earlier video more of a mud mover than a dogfighter so this is definitely my type of aircraft so yeah I hope you guys learned something from this video and uh, leave a comment leave a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and I'll see you in the next one bye bye